Hello, this is Daniel Please, My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Forge for Minecraft 1.16.5. That's right, in this video, we're going to be installing Forge for Minecraft 1.16.5. It shouldn't be too hard. It's very similar to previous versions, but I just wanted to put a tutorial out there for the updated 1.16.5 version, because especially initially, it's a little bit more difficult. So before we get started, if you're into Minecraft videos like these, or just Minecraft gameplay, or videos about shaders, mods, whatever, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. I would really appreciate that. And also feel free to check out my Instagram page. A link will be down in the description. So to get started, there's one thing you need to do first before we can actually get started installing forge you need to launch minecraft 1.16.5 just once so go over to your minecraft launcher make sure you come down here where it says latest release or if you have any other profile selected make sure to set it to 1.16.5 the latest release then just go ahead and click play and wait for the game to load so there we go we've made it into the main menu just click quit game now and now we can actually get started installing forge for minecraft 1.16.5 so to get started open up your browser you can either use the links i put down in the description or do a quick google search for minecraft forge which will lead you to minecraftforge.net. So now that you've made it over to this website, you will see 1.16.4, or maybe in the future, it will actually change to 1.16.5. But for now, we have to come over to this menu over on the left side here, click 1.16.5, and then download the installer. This will redirect us to an ad page where we just have to wait five seconds. Don't click anything wait for a skip button to appear right here and just click that. So once the file has finished downloading, you will actually see a warning that will let you either keep or discard the file. Just click keep. Now I just press control J to come over to my downloads right here. And as you can see, it should have this little Java icon right here. If it doesn't, there's a few things you need to do. That's either download Java and then run a program called Jarfix. If you already have Java, you can use just Jarfix, but if you don't have Java at all, what you're gonna wanna do is use the link down below in the description to download Java. Use the link down below in the description to download and install Java. You should end up on a page like this where you click this big red button here, download Java, and then install it. And then after that, you should use the Jarfix program if it still hasn't been fixed, which is a simple program that should fix the file extension for .jar files. It's a website like this where you come over right here where it says jarfix.exe and then you just click it. It will instantly download a very small file. You just open it, you click yes, and then you will be prompted with this if you actually did install Java before that. It will say the .jarfix has successfully been registered. You just click OK, and now if you come back to your downloads and maybe just click show in folder, it should now have the correct icon now you can just double click it this installer should show up where you can just click ok because it should already have selected install client for you just click ok this can actually take quite a few seconds up to like a minute and then once it's done it's going to let you know by telling you that the installation is complete and it will say successfully installed client profile forge for 1.16.5 blah 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 just click ok you can close this window right here now what you're going to want to do is come over to the search bar right here if you're on windows type in percent app data percent and hit enter you will now see a few hidden folders come over to dot minecraft right here and now what you're going to want to do if you actually download mods for forge is right click in here create a new folder called mods all lowercase hit enter just create a folder called mods drag in all of your mods right in here and then the next time you actually launch minecraft which i'm going to show you in just a second you will actually see those mods in game so now you can minimize everything launch minecraft and under profiles it should now say forge 1.16.5 if you can't find it go over to installations right here it should be here very clearly visible forge 1.16.5 now I just showed you where to add the mods. Now say you've added all the mods you actually want it to use. Now you can come over here and click play. And this is a new warning that Mojang introduced for anything that is not vanilla Minecraft. So also Fabric and Optifine will show this. This is just a warning. It doesn't mean anything. It's still safe to use Optifine or Forge or Fabric. Just click I understand the risks if you actually do understand the risks and then click play. 
So there we go. We're in Minecraft 1.16.5. And as you can see, it also says that we're using Forge. The version doesn't really matter because that's going to get updated constantly. But by looking at these warning messages, we are actually using a very, very early version of Forge. So those will disappear in the future. But the installation process will, of course, be very similar to this. So now if you were to actually hop into a world, you should be able to see the mods that you installed with Forge. So that's pretty much it. That's how you install Forge and mods for Minecraft 1.16.5. I really hope this video was helpful. If it actually was, let me know by hitting that thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments whether this tutorial worked or not. Like I said in the beginning of this video, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it if you're into Minecraft content like this. And then as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!